stout man coming back at you in an interesting location you might have noticed. I mean, I you don't ever see me in this, you know, kind of shot. But I noticed while I was watching a movie with a friend of mine that on camera, we were both on camera together, and uh, on camera uh, I had inadvertently taken this position and while I was watching the movie I'm thinking to myself this is actually a really good position for a video because here I am framed by the window here on my little side here and here the windowsill I can even just place up whatever I want to show and like hold it there uh, lean it up against the window so to speak Guess it kind of looks ugly with the blinds as they are, but whatever. Anyways, coming at you today with another Blu-ray update. This time, another Go Hastings haul, so to speak. They had another one of their 20, 30, 40 sales, which, if you're familiar, means that uh, if you buy more than two, if you buy two items, you get 20% off of used items. If you buy three used items, you get 30% off. If you buy four or more used items, you get 40% off. So I bought five used items, and I got 40% off of all of those. Um, I don't. I, I probably shouldn't have been spending money on it, but I was feeling kind of crappy. I'm like, you know what? Just, just, just spend a little bit of money and get a couple things for yourself. Just a couple. Just be like, hey, here you go. Treat yourself. Treat yourself 2013. If you haven't seen Parks and Rec, you probably should. But anyways, uh, I picked up three Blu-rays and two DVD sets. I'm going to do the DVD sets in a separate video, but right now I'm going to show you the Blu-rays. Uh, for each Blu-ray, I paid about $3, maybe a little over, uh, but no more than like $3.20 or $3.30. These are for my horror collection, which, as I've mentioned in the past, sometimes is found to be lacking. You'll note that I picked up The Ring. Uh, I'm picking up another horror movie. You know, bulk it up for my for Halloween, which is right around the corner. Um, and I just picked up three more horror movies. So, without further ado, let's show you the first one. Which I actually already had in my collection, but I'll explain to you why I got it. Paranormal Activity, the original movie. Now this includes the uh, unrated, uncut, all three cuts of the uh, ending. I think there are three, maybe four cuts. I'm not sure how many cuts there actually were, but there were a few cuts of this movie out there it includes a theatrical version unrated version with alternate ending never seen in theaters and a digital copy of the film so it's the two disc digital copy edition i don't give a shit about the digital copy uh but it is interesting to note that unlike other sources when you get a used copy of something at go hastings you do get the discs for the most part um the thing here is, look at how bland, look at how bland these are. That's the uh, digital copy, and that is the DVD. So, take that as you will, or not the DVD, the Blu-ray, I'm sorry. But uh, the, uh, the digital copy here, can go take a flying fuck for all I care. Leaving an empty space there. Now, why would I leave an empty space there unless, oh, wait a minute, I have the original DVD version. Now, my thinking with this originally was uh, the film was shot on for $15,000, uh, not really great high-quality camera, so it probably wouldn't look much better in HD anyways. Even if that's true, I thought to myself, you know, for three bucks, you might as well get it on Blu-ray. Um, and it's the digital copy version, but what, what you're going to do, you're going to throw the digital copy version away like I did. You're going to take out the DVD, which, by the way, take a look at this. 
looks exactly like the Blu-ray and digital copy. Bland as hell. Like, they already only spent 15000 on the fucking movie. And yet when it comes out on Blu-ray and DVD, they can't go a little bit further to make the uh, artwork look a little bit better. But yeah. Now, as you can see, I have a two-disc Blu-ray and DVD edition of Paranormal Activity. So if I want to watch Paranormal Activity on DVD, if, if I've only got a DVD player handy, like if I've only got my laptop handy, I can just grab this and go, not have to worry about a digital copy or anything like that. Um, but if I can watch it on Blu-ray, then I've got that too. So anyways, kind of cheating the system there. I've already got the DVD. I only need the Blu-ray. Fuck the digital copy. I'll use the extra slot for my DVD. Now that leaves me with an interesting conundrum because now I have an empty Blockbuster case, which this came in. I got this from um, a pawn shop for $2 a year ago, I believe. Probably around the same time. And served me well in that time, but I don't really need the case anymore. And it's a Blockbuster case, which, although there are many of them out there, I'm sure a lot of them have been destroyed. And I'm like, maybe I should hold on to this. Somebody 20, 30 years from now is going to be nostalgic for freaking uh, Blockbusters. And they're going to want to get a Blockbuster DVD case for whatever fucking reason. And I'll have one. Paranormal activity on the cover. Anyway, so I picked up Paranormal Activity on Blu-ray for about three bucks. Uh, it was three sixty-eight or something like that originally. Uh, remember, all these have ninety uh, ninety-six cents shipping each uh, for each title, and forty percent off. So forty percent off of that. Plus the 96 cents shipping came to somewhere in the $3 range. It's late and I'm not going to do the math. Anyways, the next one was a little bit cheaper. Uh, still came to, I believe, over $3 total. But uh, I still wanted to get it. But the problem is I probably shouldn't have gone for the cheaper one. Because even though it said that it came with the Blu-ray and the DVD a two-disc version. It was not, in fact, the two-disc version. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which version this is, but, um, well, I'll just show you. Paranormal Activity 2! If I'm going to get Paranormal Activity 1, I might as well get Paranormal Activity 2, which I like. Now, a lot of people don't like the Paranormal Activity series, right? A lot of people are complaining that this is becoming one of these series where they do a new one every year, although they're not doing a new one this year. Um, so if you're expecting that this October, think again, they're not actually going to have one out this October. Um, but a lot of people don't like what they've done with it. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Paranormal Activity 4, but I didn't have too many problems with it either. I could kind of appreciate it. I wish they had done more, but at the same time, you know, I was okay with it, and I knew that there's so many more directions that they could take it now. Uh, that's what I love about this series, is that there's so many different directions you can take it and still have it work and be good. And the thing is, it's not great. It's not brilliant. But it's good, and it's interesting, and it's original. I mean, a lot of people don't think it's original, but it fucking is. Uh, nothing is, like, truly 100% original. But in terms of, like, the different directions they can and have taken, uh, they have gone in places that I guarantee you, you guys did not expect. Um, so, you can act like you knew exactly what was going to happen, but, I mean, really, it involved a little bit of guesswork at the very least, and it just it was not an exact science. It was not like... Oh, they're just doing what's been done before. You know, it's just like, it hasn't been done that much before. 
a lot of people compare this to the Saw series, saying, oh, they're doing the same thing over and over and over again. They're not doing the exact same thing over and over again. They're developing the story. Now, Saw got out of hand, but it started it off kind of, you know, pretty good. And that's how I see the Paranormal Activity series, although I have more hope for it continuing on and getting better, or maybe not better, but um, remaining pretty decent over the years. Um, I have more hope for it than I did for the Saw series, because the Saw series was quickly degrading, uh, just as I think that the uh, Final Destination series quickly degraded, and all these series usually quickly degrade. This series I don't think is quickly degraded. I feel like every movie that comes along in the series adds a layer of depth or something to it that's a little interesting that you wouldn't have expected or thought of before, and yet there it is. I want to see them make a return to some of the aspects that made the original movie so good. Uh, I feel like they have strayed a little bit from that, but that doesn't mean that they can't go back to it. Um... The, I don't know why I chose to talk all about this all while I'm showing you Paranormal Activity 2, but, you know, the point being, uh, I feel like they can go in a lot of great directions, and Paranormal Activity 2 was, I liked it. Um, that being said, the reason that I got these Blu-rays is so that I could see the unrated cuts, because... You know, I've seen all three of... I've seen most of these movies in the theater. I don't know if I've seen all of them in the theater, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them all in the theater. So I've seen the theatrical cut for all of them, but I don't know if I've seen the theatrical cut for... Uh, I don't know if I've seen the alternate cut for Paranormal Activity 2 or Paranormal Activity 3. So um, I wanted to uh, get this one at least and, uh, that, you know, see the alternate cut, but it doesn't look like this version of it has the alternate cut. So I might have made a mistake. It's just the freaking one disc edition eco pack. Um, I'll have to pop it in and honestly I'll have to pop it in and see if it actually does have any special features, but it doesn't list anything on the back here, so I'm kind of concerned. But we'll see, I guess. Um, if not, I'll have to take it up again and do it right this time. Anyways, it, it's not too much of a hardship because I only paid like three bucks. <clears throat> Last but not least, if you hadn't guessed it already, yep, Paranormal Activity 3. Like I said, I wanted to see the unrated cut for all of these. At the very least, I'm going to be able to see the unrated cut for 1 and 3. I've already seen the unrated cut for for one, but I have not seen the unrated cut for this one. Um, if I'm being honest, I would love for them to put uh, Paranormal Activity 4 on sale uh, sometime around Halloween for between 5 and 8 bucks, and I might even think about picking it up at a little over $5, you don't know that's typically my price point, just so that I can get the whole collection and say I have it all on Blu-ray, you know. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this, but at the same time, there's one problem, a glaring problem that I noticed the second I opened it up, and maybe it was caused by shipping, but I doubt it because it didn't look like it, to be completely honest. Um, the case. Here, I'll just, uh, I don't know how to, like, show you any better than that. It's not, the uh, it's not attaching. Here, you know how you would go click, click? It's not clicking. It's, it's a broken case. This is the first time that I've ever had anything like this happen with uh, Go Hastings, so I'm not going to fault them too much, and you know, the artwork and everything does look decent, but um, it is kind of annoying that, hey, look, I, I got a case, but I can't Clasp it together. Yay. Um, it also says it comes with a digital copy, but there's no uh, anything in here that might have been for a code, so not like I give a shit anyways. I buy these so I can have the DVD and the Blu-ray. Fuck 
digital copies. You know how I am with that. But anyways. So, now that I've taken the DVD and put it into the Blu-ray, I officially have, for at least two of the three, a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack of the movie. And for number two, which I thought was going to have a Blu-ray and DVD, but apparently wasn't. So this wasn't like the perfect pickup from Go Hastings after all, but it was all right. And I'm just happy to have them in my collection for like a maybe total $10. Um, Paranormal Activity 1, Paranormal Activity 2, and Paranormal Activity Three, all three movies on Blu-ray in glorious high definition, ready to be watched during the season. So, I got more Blu-ray updates coming soon, although I don't know when, because I don't know when it's going to show up. It should show up early this next week. Um, it's currently the weekend, uh, so in a few days, but... By the, by the time you see this, it'll be like, you know, a week from now, probably, that you'll see the actual video. Uh, anyways, on to the next. I'm going to show you the two box sets that I picked up, along with these three, and uh, explain to you just how good of a deal I did get on Go Hastings and why I'm so happy about the pickups I made. So anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.